While Mr. Biden said he would be willing to get a vaccine, he would not require it for all Americans. I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand to be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power. Just like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. We must increase vaccinations among the unvaccinated with new vaccination requirements. This is not about freedom or personal choice. So tonight, I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated. The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. Well, I would just say generally, when you're taking action that's unconstitutional, that threatens the jobs uh, of the people in my state, uh, many, many thousands of jobs, uh, I'm standing for them. We're gonna protect their jobs against federal overreach. And this is a guy who criticizes the state of Florida for protecting parents' rights. He says school boards should be able to eliminate parents' rights and force five-year-old kids to wear masks all day. That's what he thinks is appropriate government. Yet, here he comes from Washington, D.C., instituting an unprecedented mandate, which even his own people have acknowledged in the past is not constitutional. That's not leadership. And I think the problem I have with Joe Biden more than anything, this guy doesn't take responsibility for anything. He's always trying to blame other people, blame other states. We must increase vaccinations among the unvaccinated with new vaccination requirements. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. What more is there to wait for? We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin and your refusal has cost all of us. He's doubling down on things that are gonna be very destructive for the livelihoods of many, many Americans and obviously gonna be destructive uh, to our constitutional system and the rule of law. And so these are times uh, when you believe in that constitution, uh, you gotta stand up. And obviously the substantive issue is important because there, there are places that are gonna toss aside people who've worked, they've worked this whole time throughout COVID. Now all of a sudden they should be tossed aside. They were working when nobody had vaccine. You don't know their history. You don't know why they're making decisions that they're making. Many of these people have already recovered and they have immunity. The idea that somehow uh, you have somebody that gets a Johnson and Johnson, they can work, but someone that's got natural immunity somehow can't, that natural immunity is strong. So it's not based on science. And you can say he's saying he's losing patience with people. You know, at the end of the day, we don't live um, with a one person rule in this country. We live in a constitutional system which people's rights are respected, but particularly in this juncture, their livelihoods and their jobs have to be protected. I mean, just think about, you know, what this mandate would do. It's gonna drive people out of work, out of hospitals, out of all this stuff where you have a need for people. So it's totally counterproductive and I think it'll ultimately lose in court, but be in, be before that, you know, there needs to be action taken uh, to protect the people of our state and hopefully of the entire United States. Nobody should lose their job based on this decision.